and hold them out just a little bit. They're hard to hold. I'm letting him revive a little bit because they took a little bit more time getting the hook out, but he should be fine. I always say to people, if you've handled a fish, either to film or to take photos, or you've had it out of the water to take the hook out, it's very important to let the fish revive. It's like a person that's been running. You want to get your breath before you take off there. So he's got lots of energy to go. Look at this spoon. You can see the curvature that it has. That makes it really wobble and flash, almost like a spinner. On the underside, it's just the plating that they have. And on top, they have a photo imaging system where they can actually take a picture of a fish, and this is a trout, a brook trout, and then impose it onto the spoon. It's a very good spoon to use for trout. We could have used this for brown trout and rainbow trout in the Turtan River, or right here in the headwater of the Bias River. It's perfect, and that size is ideal because it represents about a three or four inch long fish. Barbara, are you ready to hook another one? Sure am. Okay, get ready.